How's Couture doing? What kept him out tonight? He's, his, he's got a head injury. And uh, uh, what made it such a challenge to stop uh, Cleveland and Omir in the second half? You regarded somebody that good? They're really good players. Neither have I. Maybe I did one time not very well. Uh, they're really good players. Um, we did everything we could to keep uh, keep a body on a body. Um, battled. Um, they were a little bit. Uh, they were a little bit better. Sometimes good offense beats good defense. Does and um, I think you saw uh, some of that in uh, Norchad. Uh, you know, they, they use him in a, a lot of ball screen actions up on top of the floor. And you've got to take care of Wuga Poplar and Nigel Pack. Uh, and when uh, the, the hedge, Lynn or Nigel, comes out of that thing, all right, you're behind it. Um, it's, uh, it's difficult. Um, those guys guarding Cleveland and uh, O'Meer did uh, – gave us everything they had. Um, uh, uh, again, they're, I mean, they're good players, really good players. Uh, I know usually Hunter probably would have guarded Nigel. What did you – how would you evaluate Hunter – or he's, sorry, he's uh, good. MJ? Yeah, he's good. He's day-to-day, -day and we'll find out more as we move along. Uh, I'm Sorry, how would you evaluate MJ's defense? I know he – I thought MJ did a great job. Um, he worked. Uh, you know, Pat got a couple in front of him. He's just such a – He's such, I mean, you got to guard so much floor with a, p a kid like Nigel. Um, but, uh, man, uh, MJ Collins battled. And, um, you know, uh, he gave me everything in his tank. Um, uh, you know, I'm, David, I thought we did a good job on all of them. Great score at the half. They'd scored 29, exactly where we thought we needed it. Um, and thought we needed a game in the mid '60s, mid '70s, and um, you know, um, we did everything but uh, win the game. I thought back-to-back -back games with 30 plus points for Sean. What has impressed you about his confidence since he came back from that injury? He's never lacking confidence. I can assure you that. Mark, um, the uh, the three-pointer that MJ attempted with about seven or eight seconds to go. Were you okay with that shot? Good luck in your point of view, or were you? Um, down three, 74, 71. Um, I thought he, he didn't take the, fir the, the better look he had. He kind of gathered himself, which allowed the defender to get um, a better ability to con contest the, the, uh, the, the shot. But I thought, um, I thought I thought pretty good shot. I really did. Uh, it's Hunter in concussion protocol, I guess. Uh. He's got a head injury. He's day to day. Mike, you guys shot 30.3%, 10 for 33 from three tonight. How much was obviously missing a guy like Hunter and what he brings from the perimeter, and how much was Miami's perimeter defense? You know, um, Couture is certainly one of the better, I would say, top five, if not the best. You know, uh, perimeter shooter in our league uh, again, uh, so it was significant. But Tim, I'm proud of uh, MJ Collins. I'm proud of Tyler Nickel. Um, we're a man down, and that's a part of the game. Uh, and they uh, they fought like crazy. And uh, again, I thought uh, they they gave us every opportunity to win the game. Uh, just uh, Miami was just a little bit better. And it seemed like you guys were able to get Lim Kid much more involved offensively in the second half. How important was that to your to being right there? Omir is a great, is a really good player. He's a really good defender. He's got unbelievable feet. Uh, plays a lot bigger than six seven. He's a big man. You all know that. Um, he doesn't. He's not going to be behind you like like some people are. He's going to move and he's underneath you and he's on the side of you. That was a concerted effort going into the game uh, to get the ball to Lynn and Malaysia. We had a hard time doing that in the first half. Now we were going to move them around up on the perimeter and back into the post in the second. And I thought uh, 
I thought those two kids did a nice job. I think Lynn ended with uh, 16 points um, and played another really good, uh, really good ball game. Um, but it was certainly an emphasis. It's an emphasis every night. He's a good player. Uh, Mike, you had said Wednesday. You kept saying, "Geez, you got to do it every single night. Every, every you have to do it every game." Was there, as well as you played Wednesday, was there anything you didn't, any area you weren't as happy with tonight? I don't like 15 turnovers, but I told them I thought we grew up this week. I thought, I thought um, I saw some things together in a number of areas, uh, a real uptick, and that that can happen. It's a long year, and there's a lot of. <laughs> You know trials uh, that uh, that teams go through. Um, uh, we played. I think we played as well tonight as we played on uh, Wednesday, Mark. Um, you know we didn't get uh, we didn't get a couple of breaks that uh, that you gotta you gotta get and you make you make those breaks. We didn't we didn't, we didn't do that tonight. Winning the close games in the ACC obviously very critical and really hard to do in this conference. Coach, what do you think your team can learn about this result and how the game is played down the stretch and for games close moving forward? Well, it's uh, it's it's um, as it always is. Immediately following the game, you know, the start of the second half was hurtful. Uh, the end of the first half was hurtful. They had two air balls in the first half that resulted in six Miami points. A lot of times the offense out rebounds the air ball. Um, six points in the first half off air balls. Uh, we were up six, I thought. Uh, and then they made a three and then we fouled. I think it was Pack and, you know, going at the half up 30-29. Um, at first five minutes is such a critical period in any uh, in any game and setting the tone for the how the game is going to be played the rest of the way um, we didn't do very well there uh, and you know um, not uh, quite as connected defensively in the second as we are were in the first some of that credit goes to Miami they got really dynamic players coach coach Larinaga was in here a couple minutes ago and he said ever since you've took over uh, head coach of Virginia Tech. These games are always in a couple possessions, and it's just really tough. For a team that you're going to see again in a couple of weeks, what do you take from this game? And just what is the matchup like against Coach Laranega and his it's Miami? Not, it's hard. It's hard. He's a great coach. He's got my tail the last three times. Um, you know, needless to say, very talented. Uh, many of those pieces back from a Final Four team. Um, you know, we'll take a lot of things away, uh, some things that uh, that have to be executed better uh, throughout the course of the game, um, and certainly down the uh, down the stretch, uh, where you know every possession is uh, of critical importance, and um, you know that uh, that defensive end, and and uh, and I'm not trying to uh, be. Uh, uh, avoid your question I, I just uh, I have a hard time immediately following there's so much so many things running together Anthony. along that same line that I guess Virginia struggled mightily at Wake today um, do you have any early thoughts on Tony Bennett's team this year um, I haven't seen a lot of them Anthony um, you know that guy's still roaming the sidelines and you know how much respect I have for him Reese Beekman's terrific um, they've got a lot of new pieces that I'm unfamiliar with. I'll be more familiar with them uh, tomorrow. Isaac McNeely, um, you know, uh, Wake Forest is good, uh, and they uh, they were outplayed by uh, by the Demon Deacons today. But John Paul Jones Arena is uh, a, a wonderful place, and uh, we'll have to we'll have to play awfully awfully well if we expect to win. Jaden Young had extended minutes today. Is that a trend that will continue? He's going to help us win. Uh, we had a kid out, number zero, Hunter Couture, that um, typically plays a lot of minutes. Uh, so that remains to be seen. But proud of Jaden and his progress. And uh, he had two good looks at it in the first half and missed. Uh, but uh, the kid can uh, put the ball in a hole. Um, he was matched with. Lindsley Joseph, I think, and I thought did a really nice job in moving his feet and keeping the 
keeping the ball between him and the basket. Um, I do think he's coming close. He, 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 he's, he's ready to help our team win. Let's put it that way. Thanks, guys.